The next generation of console gaming is drawing closer as we are just a day away from the Xbox Series consoles release on Tuesday and the PlayStation 5 consoles release this Thursday on November 12th. This is, of course, very exciting times for gamers all over the world as we collectively welcome the awesome new hardware into our homes. I personally love the game on all consoles and I currently own an Xbox, a PlayStation 4, and a Nintendo Switch. And side note, I will eventually be investing in a gaming PC some years from now as well. That aside, I plan on purchasing both the Series X and PS5 as well as the new console from Nintendo. My main console of choice for most of my gaming is Xbox. My PS4 is mainly for exclusives and my Switch is also for exclusives as well as my go-to console for those relaxing gaming sessions. I'll be snatching up a PS5 sometime next year, but in the meantime I'll be putting in time with my Series X. Pre-orders for the Series X went live back on September 22nd, which also happens to be my birthday. And what a true blessing is I was able to lock in my Series X pre-order in about 20 minutes or so. The birthday blessings got even better when my wife, mom, and sister surprised me by paying for it as a birthday gift. Happy birthday to me. Fast forward to November 1st and I realized at one point that Microsoft snuck into my bank account, grabbed the funds for my Series X, and made it not only official, but... Official. Soon, my new console will be in my possession. My Series X pre-order has shipped, but is currently being held captive at a local FedEx distribution center as Microsoft has, of course, given strict guidelines to courier services and retailers alike to not deliver their consoles until November 10th. Some gamers, however, have been lucky and have received their consoles early and even got a blessing from Microsoft to go ahead and fire them up and enjoy playing. I thought I might be one of the lucky ones and get my console early, but sadly Microsoft said no. So I will be patiently waiting, like many others, on my epic package to arrive late morning or early afternoon tomorrow. Since budgeting is a part of being an adult, I won't be splurging on every single new game I want this holiday season like I have in the past, so my decision making has to be on point here. Apparently keeping a roof over my family's heads is more important than my gaming passion. I've narrowed my picks down to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs Legion, Cyberpunk 2077, and possibly Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, all in that order. And in case life happens, Valhalla and Cyberpunk are my two top picks if I can't grab them all. There's maximum replayability and content in both titles, so they should be able to hold me over for quite some time. I barely played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so Valhalla seems like a great entry to pick up the franchise again, and Cyberpunk has me intrigued to say the least. RPGs are usually hit or miss for me, so I hope I end up thoroughly enjoying them both. I am most definitely in the minority as I am glad Cyberpunk was delayed a bit longer so that I can play through my backlog, play through Valhalla, and see what the backwards compatibility is all about starting with Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 and 2012's SSX. And as much as I want to run out and grab a 48 inch LG OLED C10 or a high tech gaming monitor to enjoy some 4K 60 gaming, I'm going to wait until next year when there are much more affordable options with HDMI 2.1 compatibility. I've personally never gained higher than 30 frames per second and never upgraded to the One X or the PS4 Pro from last generation because I was content with what I had. I'm willing to wait a bit longer and instead I will continue gaming on my 5 year old 32 inch 1080p Samsung monitor. Can't wait for my mind to be blown when I finally do make that leap into the full next gen immersive gaming experience. It's exciting to think we are finally at the point of having these consoles in our waiting hands. Ever since seeing the Series X vaguely begin to take shape in the reveal trailer at the 2019 Video Game Awards, I absolutely couldn't wait for this time to get here. From binging video after video of first impressions, reviews, hype vids, breakdowns, gameplays, trailers, etc. to powering up my Series X for the first time is going to be absolutely amazing. So how excited are you about the next generation of console gaming? Which console and variation did you pre-order? Which features are you most excited about? Are you going to upgrade your TV or monitor for the full experience? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. To all those who successfully pre-ordered their console of choice, have fun. To those who unfortunately did not, I'm wishing you the best in your hunt and I hope you get your hands on one soon. If you enjoyed your time here with me, please do leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Also hit the little bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. That's all I have for today. I'm June, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll talk to you soon.